The Jaguars All 25, presented by Sharpie. Number five, Mark Brunel. Look, he's the greatest quarterback in the history of the franchise, period. End of story. Nobody's come close. Mark at the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap, drops back, has time, turns, fires, has a receiver. Touchdown, Jacksonville! Looks, looks, turns and throws. Touchdown, Jacksonville! Backs up, quick drop, looking on the flat pattern. Touchdown, Jaguars! He's got room to run. 10, 5, Brunel leaps! Touchdown, Jacksonville! Mark Brunel played quarterback in Jacksonville for nine seasons. He holds every major team passing record. During the early years of the franchise, he was a perfect fit. Tom Coughlin identified him early in the process and said, that's the guy I'm going to get, he's going to be my quarterback. He went out, got him, and he became his quarterback. And, and look, watching Mark Brunel play football, was <laughs> it's funny now because the way the game is played now, he'd fit now better than he did back then. Now he's going to run. It's a draw. He's across the five and into the end zone. Touchdown. Obviously the greatest uh, trade the Jaguars have ever pulled off in their history. Mark Brunel was worth a lot more than a third round pick and a fifth round pick. Brunel went to three Pro Bowls and is the team's all-time leading passer. Early in his career, he not only made plays with his arm, but could get out of trouble with his legs. The snap, Brunel is back in the pocket, blitz is coming, now he's gonna run. He's coming to the near side, pump fake across the 10, and he'll go into the end zone. Touchdown, Mark Brunel! Steve Young was kind of the only guy in the league that did what Brunel was doing, and I thought Brunel was doing it better. 95 and 96, he wasn't running to gain yards and get out of bounds. He was running to, to gain yards and score touchdowns. He is on the run. Brunel wants to run at the 20 and leaps a defender. Incredible leap over Mike oh Magruder, who's left holding his jockey shorts as Mark Brunel went up and over. What a play, Mark! Yeah. The thing about Mark, too, is he fits so perfectly from a, in terms of the system into what Tom Coughlin wanted to do. And when he broke out uh, at the end of 95 and into 96, you could really see something special was happening. I don't think he got enough credit for being as good a passer as he was. Mark could put it on, put it on the money, he could spin it. Brunel with time looking long down the field for Jimmy Smith, who's got separation, and he makes the catch, touchdown! As far as Brunel's legacy, it wasn't about what he did on regular season Sundays. It was about a postseason run following the 1996 season. As much as any player in this franchise, he's connected to one game. Brunel with time. Now he's going to come on the run. Turns, lofts it downfield, looking for Keenan in the end zone. Keenan leaps, makes the catch. Was he in? Oh, how do you not call that a touchdown? He made the catch in the end zone. Yes. Touchdown, Jaguars! Touchdown, Jacksonville! Touchdown, Jacksonville! 31 yards from Mark Brunel to Keenan McCardle. Touchdown, Jacksonville. He'll always be legendary for the plays in Denver. The long run, the tuck it and run in Denver. Brunel under center. He'll take the snap and drop back to throw. Pressure coming. He's jumping out to the near side. Pump action, cuts across the 50, breaks a tackle at the 45. He's at the 40. Mark Brunel running to the far sideline, turns the corner, 35-30. Down to the 25, an inside move, leaping for the 21. Mark Brunel with a masterful run of 29 yards. That playoff run launched Mark Brunel and made him a legacy player for this Jaguars fan base forever. One of the most exciting plays in Jaguars history and one of the most important. And then the touchdown pass to Jimmy uh, that uh, really helped seal it. Big play, 35 from the 16. Mark at the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap, turns, looking for Jimmy in the end zone. Touchdown Jaguars! Touchdown Jaguars! Touchdown Jaguars! So in the span of seconds, Mark Brunel carried his team from how are they going to beat Elway to they're going to the AFC Championship game. Mark Brunel on that play became lore. He became legend in Jacksonville. To, to go to Denver to beat John Elway and the best team probably in football that year and to do it as an upstart team in 1996, that really started Brunel's career, uh, you know, legacy, I think. That season propelled Brunel to stardom and cemented his legacy in Jacksonville. When I got here in 96, if Mark Brunel sneezed in public, we covered it. Now he, he was, when you're the quarterback of the NFL franchise and you're starting to win, you get a lot of attention. Brunel was a guy who was able to get people's attention because he made things happen when no one thought they could happen. 
There's the snap. Brunel standing in the pocket. Has time. He's going to run out. He's on the run to his left. Throwing downfield. Pump fake. Now turns and throws. He's hit as he throws. He's got Keenan all alone. Keenan makes the catch at the 10. Tight ropes down the sideline. Give it to him. What are you going to call it? Out of bounds at the goal line. Mark Brunel with an incredible play under pressure. Got the ball away. He had Keenan all alone. And the referee signal touchdown. Yes, sir. Good call. A 47-yard touchdown pass from Mark Brunel to Keenan McCardell. Brunel was inducted to the Pride of the Jaguars in 2013 and will be part of the Jaguars franchise forever. It's one of the proudest moments of my life. And uh, to be honored by the Jaguars... uh, in front of our fans and uh, especially with my teammates right in front of me, former teammates in front of me, it meant a lot and uh, I'm deeply, deeply grateful. Mark Brunel is the fifth best Jaguar of all time. Hi, I'm Mark Brunel. What an honor it is to be selected to the Jaguars All-25 team. I want to thank Tom Coughlin and all of my coaches in those early years. I want to thank the fans for their continued support. And of course, I want to thank my teammates. What a privilege it was to take the field with you every week. This honor means a lot to me and my family. Go Jaguars.